Hey, bud. I'm um, Brad from Brad's Collection, and we have Brad in here with us. And once again, we have an interview. This one's from the June 1991 WF Magazine. And this is a talk with the Mountie. Mountie. Braden will be WB, and I will be the Mountie. A talk with the Mountie. The Mountie, as he's been saying all along, believes that he is the only proponent of law and order in the WBF. The way he enforces those alleged laws, however, leaves much to be desired. When the Mountie defeats an opponent with the curated control technique, for instance, he cuffs his unconscious wrestler and reads him his rights before zapping him with 4,000 volt cattle prod. The Mountie and his manager, Jimmy Hart, say that this is the opponent's wake-up call. His vicious antics don't stop here, because after the victim awakens, the Mountie then takes a pair of leather gloves and slaps them across the adversary's face in an effort to add insult to injury. In the eyes of many people, this is not law enforcement. It's law abuse. And it has raised the ire of the big boss man who prides himself on upholding the American justice system and the values contained therein. The boss man has said that he will, in one way or another, dispose of the Mountie and make him serve hard time for the crimes that he's currently committing in the WBF. The Mountie, on the other hand, claims that the big boss man doesn't have the physical or mental capabilities to win if he, he were to square off face to face against a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. To expound on this issue and touch on others, here are the Mountie and the Mouse. Mountie, we would like to ask you a question that seems to be on the minds of many WWF fans. Why do you use the cattle prod to shock your opponents after they've been beaten? Because the law breakers, that's why. And when somebody breaks the law, they gotta pay the consequences. That's how justice works in Canada. And that's how it'll work here in the WBF. There are a lot of lawbreakers here. And the biggest one is the big boss man. He pays his dues when he steps into the ring with me, the Mountie. And right now, I'm issuing a war rant for his arrest because... The Mountie always gets his man. That's actually the mouth of South Jimmy Hart. The Mountie always gets his man. That's right. The Mountie always gets his man. And boss man, you will be got. And you will be given a wake up call with this instrument of justice. Do you believe a, 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 apprehending the boss man will be as easy as, as you predict, Mountie? And with what crime has he been charged in the first place? The boss man is being charged with evading the Royal Canadian Mounty Police. And to me, the Mountie, that's the worst crime that any offender can commit. Boss man, you've been saying for years that you make people serve hard time. And oh yeah, you've been saying that your handcuffs fit all sizes of wrists. You've been saying a lot of things, boss man, but now it's time for you to shut up. Now it's time for you to be arrested because I, the Mountie, and the only form of law and order on the, of the 90s. I will enforce that law and order the extreme. There's not a thing you can do about it. And you know what else makes him a fugitive from justice, Mountie? I'll tell you, baby. Big boss man, I see with my own two eyes how you like to handcuff people and use your ball and chain on them. To me, Mountie, that sounds like police brutality, baby. You know what, Jimmy? You're right. The boss man now that I think of it uses his badge to intimidate people. He thinks his badge gives him permission to beat up people. Why well, come to think of it, Jimmy? The boss man is nothing but a downright vigilant. And you don't want to know what Mounties do with vigilance in Canada. Excuse us if you were out of order, but you you two are wrong here in the US the boss man stands behind the law a hundred percent and is not by any means a vi vigilance and you say he knows the limitations of law enforcement and to be the best of our knowledge has never used the authority, authority in, in, in an unjust, unjust way. What more the big boss man exemplifies the American justice si system and he'll defend to it to his last breath. Would you care to comment? Yes, I comment on that. But first, if you people ever, ever raise your voices to the Mountie again, I'll lock you all up. Now talking about the boss man being the big protector of the American justice system doesn't say a thing to the Mountie because I, 
as a Mountie, am a much better trained law enforcer than this country cop. And that's all the boss man is, a poor excuse for a law enforcer who'd be better off walking the beat in some rundown American town than competing here in WBF. And I got the dirtiest, most rundown place in mind for the boss man, daddy. That is Cobb County, Georgia. So boss man, if you want to act like super cop, baby, go back home to Cobb County. Okay, Mountie and Jimmy Hart, we think that our readers ha have heard enough of your threats and insults. Now that you've said your piece about law and order, tell us and our readers how you will take care of the boss man in the ring. Can you match his moves or handle his strength? The Mountie can handle anything that the boss man throws my way. His basic American maneuvers won't compare to the tactics that I learned while I was in the Mountie training in Canada and these moves are the best when it comes to manipulating the body. I just take my carotid control technique. This move will manipulate the boss man's body and knock him out cold. Once he's out cold then I'm going to place him under formal arrest. I'm going to clamp on the handcuffs and then I will continue the match with proper mounting procedure. I'll give him a wake-up call with his right here and then I'll paint his face with these gloves that after that the boss man will be a beaten man and i mean a truly beaten man he'll be a humble man he'll be a man who's learned a lesson because the mountain always gets his man and don't anybody forget thanks we've heard enough well that was a fun interview with the mountain and the mouth of south jimmy hart from the wf magazine june 1991 thank you guys for listening enjoy wrestlemania goodbye Bye.